the Pard NV007 or the One Leaf. Which is the better unit? I get asked this a lot, so keep watching. I hope to answer it for you. Okay, so we're outside with the Pard 7. IR is switched off at the moment, looking down range at about 30 meters. We're gonna switch the IR level one on. Level one on and the targets are in view. The torch is fully zoomed in and I got the scope focused well. We'll go IR2, IR3, and back to one. Off and one. Right, let's try digital zoom now. So zoom. 1, 1 1.5, 2, 2.5, 3, 3.5. Very, very grainy um, on IR1, um, but let's increase the IR level to give it a chance. IR2, IR3, and we'll just make sure that the scope is refocused, which it is. It should make no difference at all. So that's not too bad. Very grainy, but we're at three times zoom there and we'll drop it back out again. All right, let's now focus the, uh, zoom the scope in. So we'll zoom the scope in to about 12 times. And yeah, we're losing a bit of quality there on IR3. If we drop the IR off and to level one, we can see we're definitely losing some quality there. We do need that full IR in there to get that quality. But that's the part, good crisp crosshairs there. Um, yeah, it, it's usable most definitely, as I'm sure well, most of you are aware. Um, but yeah, there is a bit of quality loss there. And the IR torch, you could really, to be brutally honest with you, deal with a better IR torch there. But let's switch over to the one leaf and see what that's like. Okay, so now we're off with the one leaf. Um, IR is switched off totally at the moment. Uh, 35, 30, 35 meters again, exactly the same setup as with the Pard 7. Let's switch the IR on. IR is now on, and straight away I can see that is a lot of a clearer picture. And that's just on IR1 torch, fully zoomed in as well. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to increase the I level, IR level up to 6, which we're not going to need, but let's just do it. 2, 3, four, five, six. Okay, so that's just totally flooding that area. No problems at all. We'll drop it back down to one because that's all we need here. Let's try digital zoom. So we've only got up to three instead of three and a half. That's two. That's three times zoom. Um, we'll just double check, make sure that we're all in focus. We are. That's very, very nice. That's working out quite well. That's actually very easy to see there, three times zoom. We'll just increase the IR level to three, four, five, six. Yep, working very well. Let's take the zoom back to on the one leaf. Now let's focus in about 12 times zoom with the scope. And this is where the pod struggled. Um, it was getting very grainy and very low light. And we'll just make sure that our focus is in here correctly on the scope. That already is a better image, and that's a one time IR. We're just going to increase the IR magnification up now. Oh, that is definitely a better picture. Um, I would definitely give the hands up here that the one leaf has the better torch and the better sensor here. Um, that is definitely, you know, we're zoomed in about 12 times on the Mamba Pro, and that was pretty difficult to see. And I'll leave a side by side, but it was difficult to see with the Pard 7, but clearly the one leaf has the upper hand here. Um, very nice, um, and that's only on IR5, not that we need it any further than that at all. Um, even on IR1, that is working out absolutely. So I think that's to do with the sensor, the Sony sensor that's in here, certainly making a, a big difference. And let's just bring that zoom back out again. Okay, yeah. Okay, so that's quite interesting with the nighttime recordings there. Um, 
they both operate really, really well. Um, the Pard 7, obviously nice, you get the IR torchings coming out of here. But the big difference that I find as well is that the IR torch on the one leaf just seems to be that little bit better. It has six levels of IR, but that just means basically it splits up that certain band into six pieces, whereas the NV only does it into three pieces. But the IR does seem to be a little bit better. But I think the major, major difference between the Pard and the NV is that sensor. The Starviz sensor in this um, is much more crisp, more defined, much clearer image. And I'll, I'll leave two side-by-side -side images for you to see, one with the Pard and one with the One Leaf. And you can definitely tell it's much, much clearer in the One Leaf. Now, I do a lot of photography. Um, and some of you guys might have seen my astro pi pictures that I do. And there's two major things that really give you a good picture. Good glass, and that's i.e. good lenses, and a good sensor. And the sensor in this with the Sony StarVis sensor is definitely winning there. It's very clear to see. Um, very, very impressed. But enough of that. Let's do a bit of daytime and see what it's like in daytime and see whether or not the results carry on into that as well. Okay, so we've got the Pard 7 here now. We're in colour mode daytime, so obviously no IR torch. I've got everything focused in as much as possible on the uh, standard uh, one-time zoom. The Mamba Pro Scope is zoomed all the way down. What we're going to do is we're going to increase the zoom just to see what the sensor is like, what the image is like. So we've increased the zoom. So we've moved up to uh, zoom 1.5, 2, 2.5, 3, 3.5 and we'll just readjust the focus make sure everything's perfectly and everything is nice and perfect there um, and obviously this is digital zoom and you can see the quality there coming through there it's a nice bright clear winter's morning so there's no light issues at all and we can see nice and clearly there let's bring that zoom back out again let's come all the way back out to one time zoom now let's zoom in on the actual mamba and again we'll zoom up to about 12 times and, and then refocus the scope nice clear picture there um, yeah certainly usable uh, so that is the pod in daytime usage there as we can see okay so now we have switched across to the one leaf and again we're now in daytime mode um, nice good clear crisp day no light issues here whatsoever the Mamba Pro is completely zoomed out and of course the IR torch is switched off. What we do is we just increase the zoom level to see how this floats. So we'll just zoom in two times, three times zoom. Um, that's looking quite nice and crisp. Um, we'll just double check on the focus on the scope, um, which will make no difference at all. And that's all okay, that's fine. Uh, nice good clear image so we can see a comparison. Now we'll come across, uh, we'll go back and we'll focus in now zoom on the actual Mamba itself again up to about 12 times zoom. Now of course we need to adjust the focus on the scope and there we have it. Um, absolutely nice um, and again I think this sensor just seems to be better, much better on it uh, on the one leaf. It's a lot crisper and it just sort of gives you a lot more detail, less graininess. Um, Quite impressed with that actually. So yeah, that's the uh, one leaf in daytime. The one leaf. Um, I think it basically it does win this competition. Um, number one, the price. You know, 221 quid for this. 221 UK pounds, 300 dollars shipped to you. Compared to this one here, ranging from 300 to 400. You, you might get some better deals as the newer versions. Or if you do want to go to the Pard. S, then you're looking at 450 to 500, which is pretty much the same unit. It's just slightly different housing and everything like that. Um, the image quality, definitely. I think the actual, the sensor in here is much better. I think what's happened here is that this unit has been developed after the part and better technology, better sensor has been put in it. The menu system in here, I just prefer it. It's just much nicer, it's much crisper compared to the part. Again, you can see where they've taken something and just updated it, uplifted it, giving it 
new stuff, better stuff in there. But it really, really does come down to the sensor in here. Uh, the microphone, it may sound a bit weird, but when I was playing the video of the One Leaf, I had to really dial down the sound because the microphone is so crisp and loud in here, whereas the part is very, very muffled. But um, yeah, I definitely, I think it comes down, hands down with this one. It is a lot, lot cheaper. Um, and it's got a better sensor. It's better in low light because of that star viz. And basically the way that the star viz works is as a backlit um, sensor in a CMOS sensor. And it's also gathering that ambient light and using that to process the image. Then combine that with the IR torch gives you that better, that crisper um, image. But um, yeah, um, if it was down to me, personal choice between the part seven and the one leaf, then it would go to the one leaf. And that's not to say pard is bad. Um, I love my pards. Um, you know, I've got the pard, pard eight LRF, and you'll see it sat up there on my impact. Cracking, cracking piece of kit. Absolutely love it. But in the battle of these two clip-ons, I'm sorry to say, it is definitely gonna have to be down to the one leaf. Sorry, pard. Um, they have trumped you on this one. So that would be my recommendation, mainly down to cost and that the image sensor in here, the CMOS sensor in here, is just so much better than in the Pard 7. It just gives you that crisper, clearer view on there. 